Welcome back, folks. It's going to be a crazy bit, isn't it? Not even the main body of people yet. What the hell is Pat? Yeah, mad. So far, so good. Come on, we work hard, why not? I still don't know why they changed the horse. Did you see anything wrong with it? It looked normal to me. It's like weird. It's the same trooper, it's not, not the, uh, the soldier. Oh no, it's not going to rain, please. It's spitting a tiny bit, people. It's not actually raining, uh, but it's spitting a little teeny weeny bit. And I really hope it doesn't rain today because guess who hasn't got an umbrella? Yeah, yours truly. The stupid one, me. It's interesting actually, it's almost like they replaced the, the adult horse with a, well, I wouldn't quite say a child horse, but with a junior horse. This horse is very small. This is probably the smallest lifeguard horse I've ever seen uh, here on duty, to be honest. This horse is probably 16 hands, which although isn't you know, small per se, it's, it's small in page cap terms. So don't forget guys, the uh, typical, sorry, sorry. typical um, is 63 as a minimum. Wow. Sorry for the head, folks. It's not quite in front. Not much I can do about that at the moment. <laughs> see the horse an invisible apple. I can see the apple, but it's uh, it's invisible to the horse. That's why I didn't take it. Some people coming through, not even realizing the horse. There's a horse here. I didn't even. I didn't bring an umbrella because it said today it was going to be dry all day. Unbelievable. Have you got an umbrella? Oh no. Oops. Man, this is crazy. Okay, troopers coming back out again, guys. Uh, an umbrella is already on the way out. The weather has been super, super, super odd this week. It's really been a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. asking what happened with the, uh, the horse having been changed over. It's very rare guys that that happens uh, so quickly after a horse is pulled out.
This actually could be the longest time I've ever seen one of the troopers speaking with their colleague at the front. That was very neat how he squeezed through that very small gap then. Probably didn't want to shout because there were kids here. Notice they both adjusted the helmet and plume. So he might well be saying to them, hey, the chief, for whatever reason, wants everyone perfectly presented today. Beautifully done. really hoping that umbrellas are not going to be necessary folks but it's 50 50 at this point it really is She's saying the horse is incredible, incredible, incredible. C'est super, c'est magnifique, c'est bon. C'est trop beau, I think is the way that Frenchies would describe the horses that we have here. Uh, and that's before they eat them, obviously. <laughs> out by the uh, rainbow of colours there, look at that, wow, it's a jacket and a half. Sacrifice. Which is will the horse take it? Hey, let's hold your kid next to the horse's mouth. Smart people not getting too close, you can see the people that are standing to my right, a large group of uh, Frenchies again. Being smart and cautious. I'm going to offer the horse a sip of her coffee. 
Oh, Rebecca Adlington, everybody. Olympic swimmer here. It wasn't really Rebecca Adlington, but it looked enough like her for me to mention that it was. You wouldn't know the difference. I actually thought it was initially, but that's the French version. Uh, we're back uh, at Ligue Don. Get of a horse that's uh, five foot behind you. Let's hope the horse uh, isn't scared of orange. Otherwise, uh, the guy that's shooting this tango commercial might cause a problem. Color explosion here, actually. That's the best part of uh, of the cold months. When we get to real cold, December, January. Wow! 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 Colours are far more interesting than the summer, odd as that might sound, because everyone's wearing different colour bobble hats, scarves, gloves, coats, etc. Pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, it just came out pretty well. Well done. Mark mean what is the purpose of my existence? Why am I here? tall group has arrived it's the ominous one that always uh, drags the entire group onto the line and pretty much uh, monopolizes it now bearing in mind what time is it now it's five to noon um, I'm just thinking actually I'm gonna go inside guys and there's a reason for that um, we will get very 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 clearly to see which the other two which other sorry which other two horses uh, are being used today for, on that changeover and I think that's an important thing it's going to be uh, an easy thing to do right on the corner here at the end of the line and they've just kitted up there we are so right 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 at the end it's busy though. the yard is very busy look at this all the way around the, all the way around the yard Obviously, everybody will get pushed back. In fact, actually, even that tall guy is going to be a bit disappointed when he tries to bring his group in. Because, very atypically, it's full in here already. Very surprising, actually, considering we're still a couple of minutes away. They're not going to change... Actually, wait, it's the lifeguards. Hold on a second. I'm really actually now wondering whether they might change over the Chitsman and Gatesman. 
Uh, I did mention, uh, thank you to everybody that commented on that in the, the previous video, I did mention that on this occasion, the lifeguards have adopted the opposite to the blues in the sense that the blues always change the chitsman and gatesman um, at odd hours, okay? For whatever reason, the lifeguards sometimes have decided to change them over on the even hours. I don't know why they're doing that and have done that sometimes, but there it is. So it's an absolute 50-50. I wouldn't bet my life on it either way right now whether they're going to change the foot guards as a relief as well. To me, it seems kind of ridiculous. They've only been here half an hour, but if they're doing even hours, it's 12 noon, which means that we'll have two new foot guards as well as two new horses. Everybody that's waiting here uh, enthusiastically to welcome the new horses uh, is going to be disappointed shortly. Why? Because they'll all get pushed back. All the push chairs, strollers, prams, strollers, etc., uh, will get pushed back. I think the trooper just said to them a few minutes. Luckily, guys, that little brief uh, rain shower quickly stopped. I can't quite, unfortunately, see the time on the clock. Uh, in the bell tower, it's, it's just obscured by that corner, but we've got to be, I think, at most, yeah, less than two minutes. Uh, any moment, the police will start to usher everybody back behind the second white line over there. We've got a very good spot here on the corner today. We'll see the horses come up right in front of us uh, without any any obstructions, which is quite rare, uh, as you know. And to give an idea, guys, then you hey he's on that corner it's quiet or whatever it's not look it's not quiet behind me it's packed everywhere the entire yard is jammed all the way around apologies for the slightly gloomy light folks it really is not a uh, an inspirational day There's no sunshine at all okay those gates are going to open any moment i've just about got enough space to be uh to be behind the line here otherwise i would uh, probably get told to shift myself Unfortunately, we don't have Pagan, no Pagan. Uh, I will try and find out where Pagan is. There's a very good chance, like Arnie, um, that Pagan uh, is up at Melton, out to grass. Arnie's been there for a few weeks. Uh, Arnie, I'm gonna actually drop this into this video because I'm sure the hell of, hell of a lot of you still don't know this. Um, I did sort of try and spread it around. I told a lot of the other people that film here and I mentioned it in some of the questions that you guys had asked on my previous videos. But Arnie, the lifeguard horse that's known as Arnie, the, the, you know, the infamous biter, the one that's been in many, many tens of dozens of videos. Um, that horse, for many reasons, not least the name, um, almost everybody, including myself for a long time, thought, presumed, that that horse was a gelding. Tell you what, folks, nope, Arnie's not a gelding. Arnie is a mare, and her name is Raiden. R-A-D-E-N. So Arnie is a mare named Raiden. Okay, so the trooper and the police are going to deal with crowd control. They've got a hell of a lot of people to get out of the way back here. Let's focus on the uh, on the stable doors. Here we go. A trooper telling them all to move back. Look at this. This is I've never seen this before. Look, trooper is telling everybody to get themselves. Look, trooper. Goodness me. Actually, wait, it's not a trooper. Sorry, guys. It's uh, NCO. I noticed two chevrons on his arm. I think Lance Corporal of Horse. I've never, ever, ever seen that happen before. Incredible. Let's see. Here we go. New horses. What a view. Look at this. Uh, last couple of horse having to tell them 
very rare indeed. Uh, almost as rare as the fact that we've got this side uh, a lady lifeguard, yeah, female lifeguard in this box. And while since she's been here actually, a good while. There's got two very large horses, in fact, for this uh, this shift. these two uh, as they come back in bearing in mind there's no dismount to confirm folks the uh, guards do not wear the scabbard with the winter uniform that was quite the sight wasn't it I mean, it really was magnificent really really magnificent thing to see and there's going to be an absolute torrent of tourists now that was one of the very busiest changes. Look, people even sitting up on the window ledges, for goodness sake. What on earth? I cannot believe, actually, that uh, somebody, they probably didn't see, that somebody didn't tell them to get themselves down off the window ledges. Absolutely incredible. Goodness me, look at this. It's really busy. I'm not rushing to the front immediately because I'm still not sure. Actually, you know what? They are going to change. They are going to change the... Uh, they're going to change the foot guards. The Chitsman and Gatesman are also getting changed over, which is exceedingly odd because they haven't cleared the yard. Look. Look at this. Where, how are they going to get through with this many people here? I literally don't understand. Interesting. They're going to have to scream at this massive group of people to get out of the way, surely. Unless the trooper who's coming out is going to do it. That's extraordinary. Really, I've never ever seen this, guys. This many people. Look at this. Look. That would have been carnage if the trooper hadn't come out and, uh, and told them to move themselves out of the way. It's so busy in the yard, it takes us back to how it was in June. Just look at it. They need half a dozen troopers to be dealing with these kind of numbers. They really do look. Really unparalleled, everybody. Luckily, the officer here is making uh, making some space for the gatesman, the new gatesman. Tourists have created some sort of tribute tunnel. Look at this, a tourist tribute tunnel for the king's lifeguard. That's the way it should be, eh? Wow. It's a very busy morning here. Very busy morning. Oh, so they're talking a bunch of nonsense saying they don't normally do this. They only do it every day, multiple times a day, but hey, it's not about the small <laughs> relevant details. It's not as if being a tour guide you need to know these things. All good. Yeah? Yeah, we're going to ask you one thing, but we can I'll be, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll come and find you. You're going to be here for a while, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was <laughs> true. I think he's just thinking to himself, what on earth is going on today? Why are there so many people? So he's going to lock up the box this side, he'll lock up the box the other side. Then, <laughs> uh, then he will be done. Let me leave him alone. Let me go back to the front, everybody, and focus on those two new horses. I've got no idea which horses they've uh, replaced them with at the front, but let's find out 
if I can get anywhere near the horses, that is. I mean, just look at it. Wow. This is absolutely mind-boggling, even for a Friday. Look, Saturday came a day early, I think. Crazy numbers, really. Sort of day when you put your kid in a pusher right next to the horse, for example. People that shove their kids in front of the horse. And really, I just don't understand that. Oh, have we got our nipper, folks, for this end? We'll find that in a minute. No one's yet got close enough. tomorrow is going to be like in terms of the numbers uh, if this is what today Friday has been like also I thought that um, everyone's back at school in, in the UK children that is there seems to be a hell of a lot of kids around uh, here at Horse Girls today I thought that holidays <laughs> holidays in the EU were <laughs> Very funny, shoved it right out of the way. So the horse is a shover, not a biter, which is kind of interesting. It's a great way to deal with, uh, with unwanted attention, isn't it? Use your massive head to push people out of the way. <laughs> the guy that's going for his pitch now is the partner of the girl that just got shoved out of the way. Let's see if the horse reacts the same way. No, he doesn't want to get too close. Ah. Come on, the horse, you do your thing. Or maybe he didn't like a perfume. The fashion show on the right hand side. Oh my god, here we go. And how many more layers she's going to peel off uh, during the photo shoot? Let's not worry about all the kids and families that are here waiting. What on earth? Ah, ah. Oh, his hand was straight with the reins. I just jerked them out of his hand. <laughs> oh 
goodness me. It's a real mixed crowd this morning. Real mixed crowd. Okay, Lady got, that, got uh, shoved out of the way. I think he's getting brave enough to go back for a second try. Here we go. Let's see if the horse does it again. Not again, I won't. Who's up next? They're a little bit sort of restless. They're very restless this morning. Yeah. Always. Yeah, that was unusual. The, whole, the way the horse pushed you that, yeah. that hard like that. <laughs> yeah, you got really good pictures. You, you, were you videoing it when the, when the horse pushed her? No, I just pictures. Ah, uh, yeah, but it, I got the. Uh, yeah, it's on video. So it'll be on there later. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it'll be up. Oh wow, that's perfect. It'll be yeah. It'll be on the soft. Oh, this afternoon. Okay. Yep. I'll let my mum know. Extraordinary. That's actually a brilliant picture. Such <laughs> a good picture. Right, let's try and get a picture of you. It's also a bit of a shovel. It's not a nipper, but he's it's shoving shover. some people out the way. That's it. Wait, wait, you guys are Spanish. Where are you from? Oh, ah, I can see it. So Spanish speakers, yeah. Yeah. Ah, which, I wonder why the horse decided to push you. Yeah. It's just very strange. Yeah. You know? Ah, could be. Okay, wait, look. Oh. It could be worse. I mean, you could have fit in your clothes or something. A lot of people get their hats taken off, all kinds of things happen, yeah? One girl even got pulled back by her hair. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy sometimes. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I got you guys in it. You guys are in it. Did you get a civet? You're in it. Your you don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Guys, just to come, this horse loves Argentinian visitors. So he absolutely does. This horse is a huge fan of everything Argentine. Perfect picture. That was perfect. Man. That was yeah. really perfect. It's a lovely regular view there on the on the right hand side on the right. My right, that is, guys. Not on the horse's right. On the horse's left. On my right. Thank you. No, my pleasure. Have a good time, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. oh. <laughs> ah, this is me saying it's not a nipper and boom. Uh oh. 
He's lovely, though. Yeah. Uh oh. Lucky, we were just on that corner then when, when he nipped at you as well, so you'll see that clearly as well. Super lucky. Oh, thank you. Are you here every day? No, I was off yesterday. I typically I try to do four mornings a week for three hours, three times four. So 12 hours a week is, is not a lot. Is she really? Yes. It's too, she's too kind. She is. She's always called it. She doesn't choose. And we say, what are you doing? She said, I'm just watching. I'm watching this crazy guy that thumbs up horses at horse cars. No, but I mean, come on, there's so much you see what happens here. It's just... She can't believe my money. Yeah, it's extraordinary. It's gotten, to be fair, it has gotten a bit less in the past couple of weeks, but we're seeing all kinds of other odd behaviour. I mean, yeah, I don't know why, but... I mean, the other day when they were trying to close the gate, they were and then they come back and the horse Yeah, this morning they brought a horse that end. Uh, only lasted five minutes. The horse didn't do anything, but they just quickly pulled it off and swapped them over. Something had happened, I don't know what. Yeah. Just yep. There, there are just too many people out there in a, in a confined space. It's, it's, Buckingham Palace, ridiculously, is actually more of a problem than here. Even though the area is bigger, the sheer numbers are just getting ridiculous, aren't they? Yeah, very much so. Very much so. People being worried now, guys, coming up and looking at the at the horse of their pictures because we've seen people getting nipped and pushed here by this horse. Uh, I will try and find out which horse it is, folks. Um, just note for the video, two very slight white socks at the back, a very, very small star. Pretty distinctive horse. Definitely not taking any nonsense and notice how quickly he dealt with, uh, with the crowd. Gone, dissipated, just like that. Yeah, this one's going to get a little bit of respite, which is my cue, ladies and gents, uh, to go to the other end. Nice to meet you, though. Thank you for saying hello. And it will definitely be on the set, I promise. Yeah. Thank you. That's so kind. I'm going to bring it now. Thank Pleasure, guys. So much. Hey, thank you. had a good All time? The best. Yeah? <laughs> thank you. Keep doing it. I will. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's head to the other horse. Lovely to meet the uh, lady and her son. Guys, thank you for saying hi. Um, and you will obviously have seen yourselves in this video uh, if you're hearing me say thank you for saying hi. Extraordinary that the horse chose to be a bit nippy with her um, after I honestly just said to the other lovely lady from Argentina that the horse is not a nipper. Just very, very, very coincidental. Let's see what happens at this end. This horse, guys, is a is a magnet way actually. No, it's not Overlord because of the white socks, but this horse is a huge horse. 17, 17, 3, I would think. No problem at all. Again, a very distinctive looking horse. Make a note. Four white socks. Prominent blaze. Yep, should be easy to ID this one. That's about sharing your pictures with uh, the complete strangers on the other side, but it happens. If this, if this one nips you as well, I'm going to be shocked. No, it's that way. That way's Big Ben and Parliament Square. That's Trafalgar Square. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Oh, a private Lardy Dar tour guide here with uh, rich clients, people that pay for one or two people to have a small, small guided tour. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you can afford it, if the tour guide is good, I don't know this lady. If the tour guide is good, uh, I guess it's an investment, especially if you're only uh, coming to London once or if it's a very special occasion, e.g. honeymoon, anniversary, etc. Um, we don't really tend to see them too often. There are lots and lots and lots of those very exclusive high-end private tour guides. They charge anywhere between 200 and 500 pounds, would you believe, uh, per person for a private guided tour. Which, to my mind, is a lot of cash. I'm not going to lie, but there we are. In fact, it is a lot of cash, thinking about it, it's per person, yeah. Oh, kid on the shoulders. 
perfect nipping height for the horse. I don't think they're going to be an issue this time because the horse is so large that the guard doesn't even need to realistically do anything. This will show somebody out of the way, he'll knock them to Trafalgar Square. Okay, so that's a little private school group dump, they're off. Finito. She's virtually in the box. Even the guards looking to see, hold on a second, why are you so, so close? Oh. The horse doesn't want to eat her bag. Thank you. Sorry. Waited very, very patiently actually at the gate for a, for a spot. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> what on earth? Like I said, guys, this horse, the guard doesn't even need to move. Look, the horse is doing all the work with. with uh, Tourist crowd control. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the look on her face, priceless. That was a classic. <laughs> oh goodness me! Wait, I wonder if they. One second, I'll, I'll tell them I got it really clearly. <laughs> hey guys, so nice. Tell them a second. Hey guys, I got that when the horse is nipping here. It'll be on this channel tonight on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's so that was super funny. Where are you from, guys? Yeah, ah, that was that was so funny. You really were scared there, weren't you? The horse really nipped at you. Uh, enjoy. Okay. Pleasure. Wow. Portuguese. That's ironic, isn't it? Uh, Argentinian, the other lovely couple, and that lovely couple were from Portugal. I don't know, maybe the horse has some sort of uh, Iberian phobia. Uh, it, it was, what, would be, what would that be called? I, Iberophobia. I don't even know if that's a word. Oh. <laughs> it's actually good that they're not getting too close. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see if this. Uh... <laughs> Rocker. Oh, goodness me. What is going on today? What a cute, most curious day. Um, it's spinning again. It's not actually raining, it's spinning. But the, these numbers, this kind of, this, this crush we've got here is just ridiculous. I don't know what's going on, why there are so many people, but there are. It's relentless. My favorite type of picture is uh, when you have people that try and look super cool in shades, even when it's raining. Oh wait, hold on. Here's an example. This horse, in fact, probably people have noticed it's a nipper. Look how how quickly the horse cleared a semicircle in front. Look, he pretty much pushed everyone out of the way. I want my own space, guys. And there we have it. Horse, he did the job. I said the guard doesn't even need to try. Horse has got it all under control. Extraordinary. I mean, really, really, really extraordinary. Fun. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Fun and you know, and interesting. And some lovely people that we met this morning. But good heavens. I don't remember a Friday being quite like this one before. We're not even into the Christmas season. This is not the Christmas tourist season. So where are on earth uh, are so many people just arrived from? I don't mean here in the literal sense, just arrived at horse guys. I mean arrived in London to, uh, you know, to be in tourist groups. Not that I'm complaining. It's great for the London economy, um, and you know, great that people love uh, to visit the capital city of my home country. But the numbers, wow.
没有，你再等一下这个位置。没有，在这里。Oh, there's a picture of a dog with a horse. Okay, it's actually pretty cute. Look at the way the dog is posing. <laughs> Brilliant. Not only that, she was very careful and respectful. She kept her dog way back. Her hand was on the leash. There was no chance of her dog scaring the horse. If only everybody were, were that considerate, folks, eh? A lot of you have mentioned and asked, not only uh, those of you that I, I know privately uh, off of social media, but in the comments on all the videos, how do the guards not laugh? And you know what? The honest answer is, I don't know. Um, I would assume, I, can, I mean, I, I do know in the sense that, you know, it's, it's not a universal answer, but typically they say, I just try and keep a straight face. In other words, you know, I'm laughing inside. I do laugh, but you can't see me laughing. That's what I'm more, most often told by the guards that are kind of massively exposed to, to silliness. But generally, it's indifference. What I mean by that, it's not they don't find it funny or that they don't want to laugh or that they're not interested. It's just that if you're exposed to this, and bear in mind, guys, I'm here at most four times a week, okay? Typically for two to three hours each time. So less than an entire day per week I spend here. Even though people seem to have this notion I'm here all the time, far from it. Um, I think it's overexposure. You know, if you're, if you're seeing this sort of thing, if you're seeing completely ridiculous, repetitive behavior, if you're seeing people getting in the way, people getting nipped, people getting pushed, people getting screamed at, people getting shouted at, etc., etc., then, you know, yes, it's amusing. And I'm sure that they still always laugh inside a little bit, like think, oh my God, and roll their eyes, etc. But I think, yeah, overexposure would be, I think, the main reason that we might not see them laugh physically. I mean, sometimes they do, but yeah, I, I think it's generally because they see so so much of this. To be honest, as do I. You know, uh, I, I do kind of find myself occasionally uh, <coughs> rolling my own eyes, thinking like, wow, that's just ridiculous. Or like, how could somebody do that? Because it seems just just an odd thing to do in this in this environment. But it is what it is. Yeah, this big horse is not taking any nonsense at all today. Look, aren't you a beauty? Blazing four socks, eh? That really is a spectacular horse. One of the best looking horses I think I've ever seen here. Can't wait to find out the name of this one. Actually, I'm going to take a very good picture, a very clear picture of this horse to get uh, sent to my friend for an ID. Oh, this guy's saying, trying to have a chat with a guard, he's completely ignoring him. Of course, he's like, get lost. Oh, he's French. He didn't grab the reins. That's a pity, actually. Revenge on the Frenchies. Oh. Oh, my God. There's another one. <laughs> Everyone here that's recording, just honestly, we're all kind of thinking, what? They, they must have put something in the water at Buckingham Palace this morning. There can't be this. But look, there can't be this many weird people. Look. Oh, here comes the guard. Yeah, something in the water, people. Maybe they sort of, maybe they had a joke at the palace. Look, let's go and hand out free water to the tourists, but let's put a, you know, a little bit of something in it just to make sure that, uh, you know, they're a little bit docile. Look at this guy trying to get a selfie video of himself. Look, he was trying to run backwards then briefly. Goodness gracious, honestly, what a morning.
I've almost forgot how much happened in this video because it was pretty consistent. Okay, so the guard, folks, is just doing his rounds and then he'll be back. Now, I'm going to stay here for a moment because there is a very good chance because of the number of people number of people my friends there as well he's put it there's a very good chance that somebody might wander in okay the guard didn't scream at him it's a kid but you did hear the guard say get out of the arches that's the look of guilt that look He's going to go and complain. He's going to go and find his parents and say, oh, the guard just told me to get out of the arches. I don't believe he actually walked in the moment I said it. Okay, who's, who's, who's in next? Who's the next Archie guys in the video? Honestly, the moment you think that that's it and there can't be any more foolishness, it happens right in front of the camera. If it had been an adult that had walked in that had got that close within the arch area, the guard would have absolutely not held back at all. So uh, kudos to that man for simply saying, get out of the arches. Um, and not shouting at the boy, you know, the boy didn't know, uh, to, you know, to be fair. Not his fault. Uh, and I couldn't see, I wasn't really noticing whether he's with his uh, parental group. But it is what it is, you know, it happens. Uh, people don't typically just stroll in out of, you know, out of a determination to get in trouble. You saw he was genuinely surprised when the guards told him to, uh, to leave. So, yeah, uh, I think you get to so get out of jail free on that one. We know the guards have uh, a lot of discretion in terms of how they respond under certain given circumstances. I'm at a bit of a loss, to be honest, guys, um, at this end. Notice police horses, actually, look. Whole van of police horses. We're going to the stables of Scotland Yard. Trying to get myself into a decent position here, people. One second. Okay, I'm not sure if she's asking if she's allowed to touch the reins. Wait, what is she asking the guard? I don't know what she asked, but the guard said no and she wandered off. Yeah, I think I'll finish the video at this end, everybody. This has definitely been the more interesting of the two horses. It's very hard to be to be fluidly moving back and forward and it, it's already making me think oh god about tomorrow busy friday always uh always is a prelude folks to uh to a busy saturday and i think anyway let me just look on the calendar we've got three solid more weeks this month yeah Third. Okay, who's up next? Lots of people are eyeballing the horse and thinking about it. Whether or not it comes to fruition, let's see. That's a nice promen. Yes. 
every hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to lick that kid's neck then for a second. I mean, I'm, I'm quiet because it's kind of like, you know, what can I say? I think we've actually seen, I, I, I can't remember, there have been too many, but we, we've seen more ridiculous faces, hand gestures and poses this morning in a single mood than I think I've seen in the last six months. It really is, it's got to be something in the water. It, I mean, it's funny, I'm laughing at it. It is amusing, but at the same time, you just think, hold on a second, how can there be so many in one day? Sometimes in an entire day, there's no one. But today it's just it's consistent non stop. Very shy, this, uh, this important looking fellow. Dashed by a frightfully important meeting with a very senior civil servant, and then lunch at the RAC with a friend, a chum from school. This the type of a mile off. <laughs> Allez, accouchez-vous encore, allez vite. Très bon, super. I swear, French kids must be the smartest in the world because they seem to be basically never at school. So if they get so little schooling, uh, yet are so successful, they've got to be naturally smart. is being very smart in shaking her head at this lady why because the lady's got a small baby in her arm and uh, god forbid this horse nips out bless her for asking that was very sweet but i think the guard was uh was right that call was right
Are you guys Italian? Yeah. How do you say don't touch the reins in Italian? Non toccare. Non toccare. Non toccare. Non toccare, yeah. Non toccare. I remember that. Thank you very much. Non toccare, folks, in Italian. Okay? Because some people in Italian understand that it's almost written there. Yeah. And they ask if they can touch. Yeah. Do you think that they should have the signs both sides? Yeah. It'd be easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's the Italian version, guys, of Don't Touch the Reins. And the French version, I believe, from some of the comments yesterday, was Ne touche pas le I think. Uh, apologies, guys, if my pronunciation was appallingly off. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Ne uh, touche pas le Hello. Hello. So that's two languages we've got in the bag, guys. I've already forgotten the Italian, but hey, I don't need to remember it because it's in the video. That's exactly why I repeated it a couple of times. I have to rewatch it later. Maybe I should, uh, I should get a, a, some sort of printing on the back of my cab. Say Spanish, French, German, Italian. Uh, don't touch the reins. Actually, guys, interesting enough, anyone watching this from a different country, um, speaking a different native language, can you write which country you're watching this video from and how you say, don't touch the reins in your own language? So if you're watching, I don't know, from Czech Republic, Serbia, anywhere in the world, yeah, please write in the comments, guys, how you write, how you would say, uh, don't touch the reins in your own language. We can build a little, uh, a little list of don't touch the reins, ideally in a hundred different languages. I'd especially like to know, and ideally, although it probably never be possible, love to know and how, how to pronounce don't touch the reins uh, in Mandarin. And indeed, in fact, I can ask my best friend, actually. I'll ask my best friend how to say it in Arabic, but... As for Mandarin, I don't know. Uh, I don't know any fluent Mandarin speakers well enough to just be able to say, "Hey, how do you say it in Mandarin?" But I'm going to ask somebody else. One second, everybody. And my question was, how do you say "Don't touch the reins" in Filipino? Come on, guys, how do you say it? Wag hawakan ng tali. Wait, say again. Wag hawakan. Wag hawakan. Wag hawakan. Ang tali ng kabayo. Tuntas the rain force. Oh my god, that is super complicated. It, it would take a year to memorize that. Say it one more time. <laughs> wag hawakan ang tali. Wag hawakan ang tali. Ang, ang tali? Yeah. Wag hawakan ang tali. Yeah. Yes, got it. Oh wow. Okay, there's me speaking Filipino, guys. Hey. Yeah, accent is still there. Is that how you say it? That's an international version. <laughs> You're right, bingo. That's the international way to say don't touch the reins, everybody. In two simple words, one begins with F and the other one begins with I. But hey, that's, that's only for the adult viewers. <laughs> uh, cheeky. So there we have it. So we've got French, Italian, uh, and we just added Filipino. Uh, speaking of which, very opportune moment, guys, getting to the end of this video. Here comes the guard. Oh, that was a very close, very close call. Look at this guy looking back like, hold on. Let me get myself out of the way here, just in case. I'm not sure exactly where he's going to go. And I hope he doesn't need to go through me. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I do like it when there's a tourist story there taking their pictures because they're not sure whether to move or whether to stay there. Goodness me, what an hour this has been, eh? I hope you enjoyed this, uh, quite, what can I say, I mean, unpredictable video. So much happened, um, from, from when the foot guards changed over to so many poses and everything else. Absolutely mind-boggling, to be honest. 
plus, hey, I learned some new language as well, so an educational day here at Horse Guards for hopefully all of us. Uh, and this, to confirm everybody, is part two. Um, if you didn't watch it, part one was uploaded a little bit earlier, but I will aim to get parts one and two uploaded and processed today. So it happens with the patient tourist behind the guard. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was. Oh, actually, wait, I also forgot about the lady that was posing. That was also at this end of the extraordinary day. Oh, 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 that was, that, that, don't tell me you got that. I'm sorry, it was, it was, it's that right, <laughs> uh, brilliant, that was, that was a classic, love it, <laughs> that was uh, one of our best known and loved uh, streamers here, absolutely brilliant moment. Uh, and the perfect moment to end the video, guys. Uh, love it. I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Uh, Guard is back at his post. Um, and on that note, I will be back as ever uh, in the next video. Thank you for watching, folks.